Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Saltily. Yes, in a co-op fashion. Welcome to Salk. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Salt and Sanctuary. Welcome to Salt and Sanctuary, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a, a, a Souls-ish type of game. If For those who aren't familiar, it's a kind of 2D Metroidvania Souls-like all of the above um yeah it's a some people have called it a soulsvania uh, um yeah. kind of an interesting term but i think it works for what this is it's kind of a metroidvania with a souls like leveling system although it has some things dark souls doesn't have so uh if you've never seen this game before uh hope you enjoy it it's uh pretty cool yep we are going to hopefully eventually co-op but first tutorial Yes, indeed. This world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally precious near, preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea, where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Surely. Yep. So here's me with David Dorf. He's a knight with beautiful buns. That's right. All right, that's the jump slash on, uh, ship with a mission. Oof. Yeah, I will be um, playing David Dorf's loyal squire, whose name you'll find out shortly. Ow, you there, stranger. We've been boarded in the night. Ugh. There, they want to kidnap our lady. Uh, ransom her. Protect. Ah, no, <laughs> you killed my friend. How could you? Pirates. Yeah, and if you look up uh, to the right there, pretty sure that's the princess up there that they're talking about oh. in the intro. And perhaps with one of her attendants. Yeah. I, uh, Interesting. I'm a knight. Get him. Get all the pirates. I can't help it. Whenever I see pirates or they're mentioned, I think of bloody pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And how did he? I don't even know how I got hit there. All right, whatever. Gotta blow up Can all the jars. Of course. Our war on uh, barrels and jars of furniture. Uh -oh. oh, oh, good. The unspeakable deep. All right. You got this, I believe in you. Oh, nope. Uh -oh. Definitely don't. <laughs> All right, so... Annihilated. <laughs> Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I woke to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. Yes, I, I know it's possible to beat that boss. Um... Clearly, I do not have the skill for that, but listen, you should know by now, we play games poorly. Yeah, so if you do want to beat that boss, I recommend the Cleric starting class. We're not really concerned about doing that in our co-op playthrough here. Oh, I could two-hand it. Yeah, so actually, if you pop up your menu, we'll do a quick overview of stuff. So, um... You have two weapon setups at the moment. There is a sword and board, sword and shield type thing, and there's a two hand. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually change that. So if you wanted to one hand your sword, uh, go back. If you hit the Y button over that, oh, it'll change oh. it to one hand. Yeah. Uh, so you set better. up your. Yeah, you don't just. Um, yeah, I think it does more damage two handed if you've got strength scaling, kind of like Dark Souls. Sure. But you don't two-hand or one-hand every weapon. You set up your loadouts and you swap between them. So uh, with mine, I start with a weapon and I can, I've got one setup that's one-handed and one setup that's two-handed. As you get more weapons, you can equip them and stuff. Gotcha. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. That's the... Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us. Hmm? You'll want shelter, you'll want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? Hmm? 
as an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep new gods? All right, so this is a decision of your starting creed. There are three starting creeds, and they're pretty important for going through the game, but your initial selection doesn't matter a huge amount. So there are three selections here. This first one is kind of the most common religion in the world, the new gods, the three. Um, there's another one that's more meant for kind of clerics. You'll get a lot of divine incantations. And then there's another one that gives you a lot of weapons and upgrade material reels and stuff whereas the three the first one here is kind of a balance all right well we'll just stick with balance for now then most okay. men follow the three deities the king the knight and the judge the king lends wisdom to men who lead the knight protects warriors in combat hey that's me and the judge mm -hmm. guides those who maintain order you are a follower of the three then sure who are a follower of the three, as I suspected. Here is the candelabra of the three, icon of your creed. Thank you. The three. Yeah, so this this is not a hard and fast rule, so you can change it at a later time, and you should. Gotcha. You survived the shipwreck, didn't you? The island is full of shipwrecked sailors like you. I stand here on the beach. I see men drown. I see men survive. I never see rescue. Perhaps this island is cursed, but what you already thinking that? But have I seen a princess? Perhaps, perhaps. Why is a princess so important? Living or dead, we're all the same flesh. Maybe I'm your princess adorned in the skin of a decrepit old man. <laughs> we'll go find your princess. You know what they say. A quest goes a long way to keeping the madness at bay. Sanctuary is simple, but salvation is not. Alright, cool. Ooh. Forward! What's this? What is this? Yeah, it's, there's some tutorial messages. They're sort of like the text that goes on the ground in Dark Souls. Oh. Um... This game does owe a lot of its DNA, so I'm going to reference Dark Souls a lot when explaining things. Not everything is Dark Souls in this game, but a lot of things kind of are. Hmm. Um, Sanctuary key. Important. Switch items. I don't really have any items at the moment to switch out with. Use equipped item. Do inventory. Alright. Open door. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> Flame sanctuary. Ding. Ding. I love the sound design in this game. Very fun. All right. Level up. Tree skill. Make offering. I don't think I can level up yet. Do make an offering, though. Of what? Oh, the stone sword. Cell, cell sword. Exactly. Yep. Offer the stone cell sword to an altar to summon a cell sword to the sanctuary. Let's do it. All right. So this guy... And you can have up to four people in your sanctuary, by the way. Oh, cool. So if you do a higher... Ah. Let's see. Okay, now you're it... doing it. Ooh. Hey. Hey, there we go. Ignore that other chef. That one's... Okay. Hey, there we go. Okay. And we're back. That is really... <laughs> Yeah, I finally it's figured it out. Drops there, but we got it working. Yeah. All right. Well, remote play is, uh, you know, stellar <laughs> experiences here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. All right. Come along, Squire. <laughs> red shard. Yes. Yeah. So red shards are a little like life gems. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch 
the stream because it's much more reliable for figuring out where I am than remote play. Oh, geez, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually see what's going on on the stream. It's beautiful. Oh, hey. Oh. There we go. Okay, yes. So, in case y'all haven't figured it out, he's using a giant spoon. Ah, uh, yes. So... The... It's a ladle, I think? Uh, it's a... Yeah. Pot. It's an iron, iron pot. Yeah. yeah. With a long handle. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I wanted to play the chef class. Um... Yeah, I'm, where I'm new to doing the multiplayer in this game. I've played it single player a lot, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Sort of like um, they just added the streaming function um, to their local mo the local co-op works very well, like couch co-op in this game. So that's essentially what we're doing. We're just doing it in a complicated way. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, not anyways. How that works. Yeah, so we got. Um, I think we're both using. Yeah, so the red flask is the healing item for the three creed. Um, and then red shards are. Whoops. I have a potato. All right. <laughs> Red shards are a little like life gems. And um, if you pick up like little bundles of salt, the, the salt is souls. So it's your currency gotcha. you use to level up. And uh, you might notice we also have a gold currency uh, as well. So there's actually money and there is uh, souls or experience salt. Oops. Wah. Wah. You know, I think if I go off screen, I can end up like doing the teleport back thing you can do. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in games, yeah. Uh, while I'm, while we're at it, how's how's my uh, sound? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. All right, good. You're making sure. Yeah. Okay. This, I forgot the name of this area. Do you remember what it said when we walked in here? No, you think I was paying attention? Please. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure it out here in a second. I think it's the banquet. Um, ooh, stone merchant. So we can. Uh oh. <laughs> um, dropped input. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, do I not have access to the? How strange. All right. Guess I'll uh go back to the sanctuary. <laughs> Yeah, I think you have to respawn me. Shivering Shore here. Can't go through that door yet. Yeah. Hey, there I am. We. Yeah. All right. I was going to check here. Oh, wow. Now I have These potatoes. Place. Yeah, I was going to rearrange this a little bit. Uh. Because, uh. <laughs> Just so it's not too confusing here. Um, so we could do a little level up process here. If we want to here. Um, should be able to. These pouches of salt. Do we have the? Oh no, my my salt got dropped. Okay. But yeah, if you want to rest at the uh, the idol here. Level up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you do a level up you're going to get a, per a black pearl. So go ahead and do that. Boom. All right. And then go to the tree of skill. Okay. All right. So because you're a knight, you started with level one swords, class one swords. So up, uh, up a little node there. Yeah. Class one sword fighter. And then uh, class one heavy armor. Those are your starting nodes. Okay. Um, there's a buy rest here. I can tree of skill, and you see, I start at level one uh, as a chef with absolutely no nodes, so I pretty much have to start from the middle there. 
got to figure out what I want to do. Gain additional healing potion. Well, that sounds good. I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, you know, especially at first. Grabbing those is not a bad idea. Um, you know, if you've played this game more than once, it may be, oh, I want to use these weapons or something. Swords is good to go down. Uh, swords is always a good path. It's going to help you with swords and great swords. If you look at the um, description of class one sword fighter. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. So swords, great swords. You also get strength. So you actually have higher strength because of that. Gotcha. Um, you start at like six strength, whereas I'm chef and popper start at five all stats. Gotcha. Let's see, the next sword is... That's Assassin. Sword's up there. Okay, uh, right I gotta there. go through yep. Pike. Gotta become a Kai Pikeman, become a swordsman plus two. Right. Yeah, and then it's interesting that it says it just requires one. I thought it required two. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's because you're not there yet. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure really high class ones, you, you need to pay as many. So like a class three sword fighter, you have to pay three black pearls, but they may have rebalance things and I don't recall. I played on the previous update, so. Gotcha. Now everything's I back. I wonder if I can get my salt back. Potato! Oh. <laughs> I have potatoes. You want some? I have, I have potato, many potatoes. X potato, or pro potatoes. Ow, ow. Let's see, still at you. Yeah, there it is. All right, so the left trigger is a block, and if you hit the attack button, you can parry while you're blocking. Like if you block and then hit the attack button, it'll let you parry attacks. So, yeah, yeah cool. I don't know where we're Wait. going. Let's go out here. Sounds good. You've led us to a dead end. Dan, how could you? I have. Well, I wanted a pouch of salt pretty badly, so. That's fair. We, whoa, whoa. Muffins. Oh wait, potatoes. More potatoes. Ah. Ay yeah. Ow. Oh. Let's actually. That's better. Oh, Ooh. hang on. All right, so I got my salt back. That is what that looks like. When okay. you die, it spawns a little guy. Um, unless a boss kills you, and then the boss will steal your salt, and you have to damage it to a certain point to get your salt back. Whoa. I'm going to recommend that you quit doing that. It's a good recommendation. I thought so. If you could see what I'm seeing, you would understand why I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got a torch. Wah, 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 ah. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Yeah. What's out here? Ah. I don't want to go up that. Oop, 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 oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh, oh. Uh oh. It's all safe. We're good. Grab that. We're item. good. Still glaric. <laughs> I took a lot of damage. There we go. <laughs> uh, you'll notice my health bar, because I keep falling off of everything, is a little bit lower on max health. Uh, so you do take injuries as you take damage in this game, and there are ways of recovering that without resting, but obviously resting, you'll all your injuries will go away. Oh. 
Yeah. So did you get the jump to that item up there? Oh uh, yeah, we got the item up there earlier. Okay. So there's a All ladder right, here we could take. That is true. Sure. Pretty good ladder. Oh. Oh boy. Lag spikes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We'll just attribute this to me being great at video games, shall we? Yeah, of course. Gotta give you extra challenges so that it's, you know, a new yeah, experience. Yeah, why not? And then we'll just have to see if we can figure out making it smoother later. So Rogue, Ooh. Rogue set. <laughs> that looked painful. Oh, hey, all right, that's cool is uh, because I'm player two, uh, when you go to a room, it's going to like, so like, I'm down oh, here, yeah. go ahead and walk through that. Look, look, I'm here now. Yeah. So um, I'll just try to leave navigation to you here a little bit. So <laughs> we'll make it work. It'll be fine. All I'm right. just here to provide support and throw potatoes. Sounds good. What's this thing? Uh, that is a thing that can't be used yet. Um, ah. so there are some, there are some Metroidvania mechanics, uh, where you can get things that will let you go to various places. So, um, one thing that I would recommend doing though is equipping the bandage ring. So as you take damage, you will take fewer wounds by having that equipped. Oh, nice. Yes, it's pretty nice. There you go. We dog. Dog ahead. Could this be dog? Whoops. Well, where does this door go? Oh, okay. I see. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. What do you think this is? Elden Ring? Looks like Elden Ring to me. Hmm. Fair enough. Hmm. Ooh, that's dark. Uh, whoa. That was dark whoa, and scary. Dark. Yeah, so, th no, that's a good room. Go in that room. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is solid. So, come in here and light that. Checkpoint? Boom. Ah. Yeah, a little checkpoint. Yep. So, I'm in particular going to rest here and restore flasks and also restores your wounding, as you can see. So, that's pretty cool. Um, it does work like a regular sanctuary, though, so it's going to restore enemies, enemies as well. Yeah. Um, I have farmed here before for particular drops from those guys out there. We don't need to do that right now, but I have done it. Uh, I think, yeah, up there. Item. Yeah, the journey bottle lets you uh, write messages. You like <laughs> what? This dog. Oh yeah, doggo. What is that? That's like a boar or something. Yeah, like a, a warg maybe. I don't. I don't know. Warthog, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig. I feel like we've already Pig. been in here. We have. Yeah. Okay. It's it's the interconnected world. Yeah. Okay. Thing is, we're gonna have to go back up those stairs. We go up this way. Hello. Shakun. <laughs> I got the bats. Don't worry about it. Uh there we go. Let's force them in here. Ha ha ha. Get out of here. Let's we'll get accustomed to the way the stamina bar works on this. Yeah, it's it's different. Pop out here for a sec. Grab that. A stone, stone blacksmith. blacksmith. Alright. Yeah, so there's a number of things we can take to our sanctuary that we picked up uh, up this. So if you notice this candelabra here, oh. that can candelabra, that big one, indicates there is a boss ahead. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Are we ready so, for a yeah. boss? <laughs> we can attempt to fight the boss. We do have enough salt to where we could probably get some levels. So I would actually suggest Let's do that, we then. grab some shortcuts. Uh. Um, can't level there. 
Okay, it's so you're literally go just a rest spot. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, where are we going? This way? Yeah, we'll just, um, I think we can, <laughs> I think there's a ladder you can kick down here. Don't go up this ladder. That's just me being a fool. Downward. Whoop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. So that's not too bad to get back to the, to the boss room there. What you so push we'll to, set up to sprint? Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't. Like, this is where oh. we're running at max speed. Oh. I just run slow because of my armor, I guess. Uh, yeah, you probably have higher equip weight percent than I do because I'm wearing stupid, crappy cloth armor. Yeah, fair enough. I but mean, my chef's uniform because I am the greatest right. chef ever. All right. Uh, Level up twice. Yeah, level up again. I am level three. Ooh, I'm gonna use a little salt and level up again. Why not defender? Why not? All right, let's see here. Made it to level four, I love it. All right, so um, if you look at my levels on the left here, uh, hang on, let me. OK, so there are two resources when you're leveling up. There are black pearls, which top right. I've got three of them All right. on the right side there. Uh, and then there are um, are those. I don't remember the other one. Like are white, they white pearls? I, I guess. I think they're white pearls. Um, anyway, the other one lets you remove a skill. So, for example, if I were to purchase, uh, if I were to go up this, and I wanted to get to class two swords, but I didn't really care about, uh, say, the halberd, for example. Right. Um, I could delete it later with one of those, uh, one of, with, oh. the, with one of those pearls. So would it like retrieve the black pearl from that space? Yeah, you can exchange it for a black pearl, um, and it will allow you to kind of customize so if you have to go through certain spaces like for example if you just want one thing that i've done uh is go down this route um to get class one cleric and then i'll get i believe i'll get up to like class three uh because class three lets you use rejuvenate i believe is the name of it which recovers a lot of wounds and stuff but if for example i don't really want a lot of wisdom stat i don't really care about it i'm more melee focused I could just start deleting the wisdom nodes and just leave the class three because you have to have the previous classes of cleric in order to have class three. So if I wanted to be class three, I would have to get the wisdom. This is very interesting. I think they've rebalanced this. So class four cleric only requires two black pearls here, whereas before it would require four. Um, but you get less wisdom for it as well. So. That's sort of interesting because I'm very used to it being like, oh, I have 11 wisdom. Uh, I've optimized this to do that. But now it would just be like one. Yeah, it'd be like nine. Anyway, that doesn't matter a huge amount. Um, I am probably going to go down that route a little bit, but I think I'm going to grab. I'm going to need to go up this way for my pl planned build. So we'll just start with that. And we're going to call that done and we're going to move on. All right. Let's get this boss knocked out, and I think we'll be at time, so. Sounds good to me. It is a cool boss. I like this boss. Um, just so you know, right trigger, roll. That's going to help. Yeah, I, I tried to roll with the other boss and got my, my butt handed to me. Well, yeah. That's one of those, like, ah, yes, this boss is going to kill you. It's like the, the asylum demon or whatever. Right. So... Kind of expected. Ah. ah. Stupid bats. <laughs> nice combo. Alright. And grab our little resty rest. Yep. Grab that checkpoint. I'm going to do it too. 
I don't think I took any damage. Um, yeah, and I have four heals now, and you do too, because you took the extra one. But yep. as a chef, I had to start with that. Uh, so the first one, you get an additional heal, heal. You can delete those if you want. I've only ever found them useful, so. Dark soul? Dark soul. <laughs> the sodden night. Yeah, I think this is the sodden banquet. I think that's the name of this place. Ooh, whoop. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Have potatoes, Al. Don't worry, Squire. I shall defend you. Ow. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> have potatoes. Ow. <laughs> so many potatoes. Are those potatoes, Next. Barry? Ow. <laughs> oh, no. This is backhanding me. How dare. Uh oh. <laughs> uh Oof. Ow. Oh. oh. This is a lot different, for sure. Yep. Oh. Uh. Eh. Oh, stop backing up. Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, ooh. I That's, got bazapped. He got a combo. Mm. I'm die. <laughs> you got him. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ow. Oh. oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Excuse me. You got some comboing. Uh oh. He's cheating. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Obliterated. Okay. Hey, we're back. One more. We'll just have to try that one again. again. Or one more again. One more again. Yeah, I don't lose. That's right. This doesn't bode well we for us to play through, though. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get what a feel for it. What are you talking about? We're doing great. That's yeah. right. We're going to feel for it. It's just a different style of pacing. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, come on. The zap. Ow. Ah, come on. <laughs> All right, one less try, and then we got to call it. Yeah, go get him. I love uh, going between this and souls because I like run up and aggressively drink my flask in their face. <laughs> you can't do that in this uh, one. I need a drink. Okay. Now. Uh, oof. Ouch. Oh, just trying to heal. <laughs> Ow. Take there you that. go. Good job. My squire. No. 
Oh, I still got the salt for it. <laughs> Excellent. The banquet. Yeah, make sure you grab all the gold it drops. All right. And we got the Sodden Knight's ashes. That'll <sighs> act like a boss hole. I'll just jump off this way, right? Anyway. No! Yeah. <laughs> all right, back this way. Got it. Yes, indeed. Ooh, that was scary. Did we add any other oh. uh, dudes into the sanctuary yet? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I am. Yeah, so we pop down here. We can take a look at that real quick and then kind of call it. So. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, so yeah. Um, go ahead and do make an offering here. And, and feel free to level up as well. I'm going to grab some of this too. Oh, but. I see. So you make an offering of these, and it will give you uh, additional merchants here. Um, and they do any number of things. So you can offer all three of these. Um, go ahead and just do that. Why not, right? All right. So now we got a bunch of people here. We got a merchant. Care yeah, to browse my wares. And you can buy any number of things, consumables, stuff like that. Um, he has potatoes. This can be very important for me. I am equipped for my journey. I have 99 potatoes. All right. Uh, you can also sell things um, if you want. Uh, let's see. The cleric. Dis discipleship of three. You can learn prayers. That's what they're called. They're prayers. So, mend here is a class one. Uh, requires, you know, you, you to have class one prayers. And you restore some HP and reduce some wounding. It's a weak heal spell, but it's, it's not bad. Uh, bless weapon is like you buff your weapon. So it's like a little light buff for your weapon. It's a class two prayer. Um, as you level up in the creed, which we'll talk about in future episodes, uh, you will be able to get more uh, out of these various merchants. So the three will be at level one currently. And then, of course, the blacksmith, you can. I don't want to talk to the blacksmith. OK, so you can buy weapons. Um, so the Varangian Spatha, which is, I believe, Austin, your starting weapon. Uh, class one sword. Uh, there's the arming sword, which some classes like the mage start with. Uh, axe, crossbow, etc. Lump hammer. You can also upgrade your weapons uh, and armor. You can upgrade armor as well in this game. So I don't think I have the. Oh yeah, this is a chard. So if you hit A on your sword or shield, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, Lock of Hair is the initial upgrade item for that. Mine is a charred doll. Charred is usually for, like, fire-type weapons. The Iron Pot doesn't do fire damage, but it sort of makes sense, right? right. It's, it's an Iron Pot. You cook stuff. Um, so, weapons upgrade to level 7 in this game. Gotcha. Uh, and, yeah. So your sanctuaries are sort of like your towns. Uh, I guess I could equip that and have a little more defense. Um, I am going to go ahead and start going up. I think I'll go this way to grab right. well, while you're, some while you're prayers. Out, I'm going to close this out here. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an enjoyable time. We're going to try to do more of these co-op stuff. Hopefully we'll figure out our uh, frames issue. Since this is a remote play, there's always going to be issues in that regard. But we'll figure some out, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do some work on it. This is very much kind of an experimental first thing. So you get to see our suffering. But yeah, yeah. yeah we, we are planning to do this more. I, I love this game. I love the lore. I love the gameplay. So yeah. Yeah, it should be good. But thank you so much for watching and to check out other stuff. We've got tea times. We've got our main series. We've got stuff coming out on Fridays. And of course, this will be our new Saturday series, the co-op Saturdays. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. keep that in mind as it comes down the pipeline. Um, check it out. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the stuff that helps the algorithm. It helps us tremendously and uh, makes us feel better too. You know, if you just really want to give us a boost of confidence. 
<laughs> we will Watches. have confidence. That's right. We're so good at video games. Anyway. Uh-huh. So, yeah, check this out. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon. And we'll see you all in the next video. Stay salty. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.